Peace family, it's your bro Keep Monday tapping in with another video. Uh, this video is gonna be going over the DC Young Fly, uh, you know, response or like the interview he was pretty much talking about his girlfriend that uh, I'm not sure if it's his wife or, or his girlfriend, but uh, she, she had ended up passing away because she went to go get uh, a, BB, a BBL. Um, and I guess, you know, I don't know exactly what the ramifications or like what some of the negative drawbacks you know, it can be if you get a BBL, I guess if it goes wrong, but apparently she died from it, right? Uh, so he's been, uh, you know, doing a lot of press, a lot of interviews, you know, talking about it, saying how, you know, women need to love themselves and, you know, women don't need to, you know, I know this world, you know, is going to tell you to, you know, people going to tell you that you got to look a certain kind of way to be deemed as beautiful, but you have to understand that, you know, loving yourself in however you may look, whatever shape, form, or however you, whatever size you are, is the most, it's the best love um, in the in the best case that you can, like that's, that's the best case scenario. You know, when you try to start going out there, changing your body parts, you know, trying to be somebody that you're not, being something that, you know, God didn't create you to be that, so, you know, watch how to change it. That's when, you know, issues can happen and, you know, room for error can happen. Um, and it's very sad because it had to be, he had to be an example of this. I'm not sure if he if he endorsed it or if he was like you know promoting it for his for his girl. But either way, uh, you know it ended up in her demise, unfortunately. So, um, you know, my thoughts on you know just the whole thing. I'm not gonna really speak too much on his situation because that's very you know touching on him and his part. But what I will touch on is like you know this world, uh, the social pressures of this world. And also like the the social norms because that's my biggest I love that topic right there if you ever watched one of my videos in the past I always talk about you know social norms and how I am so against all social norms you know socially this world talks to tell you that you're supposed to be out here in your 20s having fun uh, making all the mistakes well I'm not gonna say not I, I agree to in your 20s you do want to make all the mistakes that you want to make but I'm and when I say make mistakes I'm talking about in more of a business form like, you know, make, taking risky investments, you know, doing risky things that could help help your family. But when they talk about making mistakes, they're talking about having sex with people, try, just trying to do all this, you know, partying every night, drinking all the time, smoking all the time, trying different drugs, you know, trying all, you know, all these different things that, that the world has to offer in the negative form, though. They don't talk about none of the positives that, that the world can offer. So that's what I, talk, that's what I call a social norm, right? Most people got tattoos. Most people got... Uh, or drink or smoke and most people you know around my age i'm 24 so most people got do all all of the above they do every single thing that i just listed um and i'm not sitting here trying to condemn anybody by saying don't do those things because at the end of the day you know i got friends that do those things i got family members that do those things so it's not about trying to condemn somebody because i'm not nobody's to be i can't who, can, who am i to condemn i ain't perfect but it's more so to understand that like you know we understand what's right and we understand what's wrong so I feel like in this world, what what's, what's deemed to be wrong is right. And what's deemed to be right is wrong. You know, you don't see a lot of people, you know, black men, black women, um, or just people in general, you know, uh, promoting education or promoting, you know, the fact that, you know, you don't need to go to college, right? That's a social norm right there. You don't need to, uh, what's another social norm that I see a lot of? You know, you don't, you know, it's so many social norms. I can't think of another one, but the college one is a very big one. You know, everybody that I, that went to school with me, all the, you know, a lot of my friends, they end up going to college. I went, I went, I went to college as well, but I ended up leaving college. I said, no, nah, man, you know, I think my talents and <coughs> I think that I'm, you know, I'm better suited in a, uh, you know, doing my, creating my own thing, doing my own business. Um, and I think that, you know, obviously college is cool, but I just, for me to have to pay you to, to learn, and get an education that's mediocre, you know, I can't really get, I can't get behind that, you know what I'm saying? And if, especially if I'm not gonna be, if I'm not gonna take advantage of all the things that the college has to offer, like the libraries, like all the, you know, networking opportunities, because even with college ain't even about what you learn, it's about the networking opportunities that, that you get by going there, who you might come across, who the people that's in your class might become later on, you know what I'm saying? Let's say you're friends with somebody that end up opening up a business and you can you know partner with them or something like that. You know what I mean? So it's like it ain't even about the necessarily like day-to-day -day activities that you're doing when it comes to class. It's more so all the surrounding things. 
So it's like, you, know, you have to almost figure out what is more important to you. Um, but I didn't mean to get on this topic about college, but I'm going I'm to I'm read it back into social norms. Um, and just how society, I guess another social norm would be, you know, how as a people we talk about, you know, the big booty. You know, every guy wants a girl with a big booty or, or, or fat, you know, a lump to his body. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants a girl that's a stick or that's, you know, skinny or whatever the case may be. So I think that even that is, you know, a lot of that is due to us being so sick mentally that we think that, you know, we, I mean, obviously men are physical creatures. So obviously men, all men want to look at something that's most attractive to them. So, you know, if you like a girl that has curves, that's not a bad thing. Innate, innately, that's not a bad thing. But I think that we become so uh, sick and perverted that we don't even necessarily make it almost a, it's, it's almost like a it's a stigma now that if you don't have it then you're then you're not as valuable if you if, if, as, 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 if, as if you do have it so it's like bro like if you're a skinnier woman and you don't have those curves you're gonna feel like you're not as attractive as the girl that got the curves and even if she, even if your face looks better even if you got a better personality than her even if you know you're a 10 out of 10 in every other category just because you don't have a fat butt, you're gonna think that you're not on that same, on that girl with the fat butt level. Um, so this is like, bro, as a people, we have to stop um, encouraging that as like the, you know, that's not, for me at least, that's not what I deem to be the most important when I am looking for somebody to be with for the rest of my life. I could care less about how fat your butt is. Like, I'm trying to really get to know you as a person and, you know, see if we're actually compatible and see if in the future I can see myself growing with you and you know loving you, you know loving you even more as as, as we grow, um, and you know just seeing how we are, you know all you know all that stuff. So like I don't believe in all that, you know, just being like with somebody because they got a fat butt. Like that's to me that's very very childish. Like come on now, we grown now. Like you know, and I think that's a big reason as to why you know in the black community we don't have long lasting marriages anymore. We don't even focus on the pillars of what it would take to even build those long-lasting marriages. We just care about if, I, if the girl got a fat butt. And if her butt is fat, you know, be, be riding with it. Be cool with it, you know? So it's like, bro, it's like, you know, I, as, as a man, I have to, we have to start redefining what we want and letting our, letting our women know, hey, you don't have to go out here and get these BBLs, you know? I like you the way you are, you know what I'm saying? Nick Cole said it best, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't need to change what God created, you know. I don't know if he said it like that, but basically that's what he meant. You know what I'm saying? But that's kind of that's pretty much the end of my video. I don't want to keep you know beating the dead horse. What do you think about the whole DC young fly situation with his uh, with his wife slash girlfriend? Uh, I think it's very tragic. Um, I'm sad that this had to happen to to our brother. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it could be an example of you know what not to do, and also how we can you know be better examples for our for our future kids for our, for our children and you know how we can start changing the narrative um on how, how we look at you know the whole bbl culture and all that but yeah bro, sure, bro you might have it in the video and i'll see you in my next one and i am out peace